The bass guitar is usually the lowest instrument in any band. It provides the bottom for the band. It's, it's the warm sound. It's the bed that everybody else sleeps on. It is the support, uh, kind of the support um, for the rest of, for the higher instruments, the more melodic instruments, and a lot of times the instruments that get more glory, um, it's, it's the support for them. And the stronger that the bass can support all the other instruments, um, the more the other guys can shine. So something I'd like to stress in being a bass player is the spirit of givingness, um, which is really kind of the most important thing um, to think of. I think for any musician, but, but I, I feel like particularly for a bass player, often you know, you're going to be you're going to be supporting a singer, you're going to be supporting a soloist, you're going to be supporting a melodic instrument, you're going to be supporting um, all these other instruments, the higher frequency instruments. And so your job, um, as well as like, you know, having good time, you know, have your, your time being solid, having a good, a good feeling for rhythm, which comes from practice and which comes from paying attention and studying music, um, is, is really is listening to what the soloists are doing. So or what the soloists or the melodic instruments or the, the, the more featured instruments are doing. So the more that you can, you can listen to what's going on with the other instruments and not just stay focused in your own world and just playing your part over and over again, which often, you know, the bass part might be a simple part, but when you're listening to the, to the other people that are playing and you're playing your, your part, as simple or as complicated as it may be, the fact that you are listening and the fact that you are doing subtle nuances with your playing to complement the, the higher instruments, um, the, be the better bass player you will be. Um, and the other thing that, that I like to say about playing the bass is um, playing the bass, uh, more often than not, you're going to be part of a rhythm section, which means you're going to be playing with, it, with a drummer, and you and the drummer are going to be the rhythm section. And um, listening to the drummer is the number one most important thing you can do as a bass player. When, a ba when, when, the, when, the, when, the, when the When the drummer hits his bass drum, you want to hit your bass note in the center of that bass drum hit. And that's something that, that I've always strived to do, is to be inside the middle of the drum hits. And, and each, each note that you hit, if you can manage to, if you hang, when, when a snare drum on, on a, a drum set goes pop, the, in, in that pop, there are two P's and an O. The P, O, uh, P. And if you can be playing in that O, where you strike it, well, you're right in the middle of that note. Um, to me, that's the ideal, and that's what I always strive for. You want to make everyone else sound good as a bass player. You want to make the drummer sound like he's the best drummer in the world, and you want to make everyone else in the band make them shine. It's like on a basketball team, the point guard, a good one, makes all the other players around him good. And I feel like as a bass player, you're kind of the point guard in a band. Um, in a traditional rock band setup we're talking about, but, but in, in a tr any traditional band setup, as a bass player, you're laying the foundation, you're, you're, you're making the bed, you, 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 are th you are giving the ground for everyone else to dance upon, and you have to make it solid, your rhythm has to be good, and you have to be listening and paying attention to what everyone else is doing, and doing the best job that you can to, uh, to create the atmosphere for everyone else to, to be beautiful. Um, and that, that's, you know, as a, how I see it, that is the role of the bass in music. Um, of course, there are, you know, m uh, many exceptions, and myself, being a total ham and a, and a ball hog, um, I often, you know, take the lead and solo and, and make a spectacle of myself, um, but, but really, um, the main context in which I view myself as a musician, in which I, and when I see bass players that I admire, they, even the ones, like the great ones, such as like, you know, the great bass player Jamie Jamerson, James Jamerson, who played on most of the great Motown hits, or even the great soloists like Jaco Pistorius, who revolutionized the bass guitar, um, they're, they're, they're always, the, even like, you know, when they're just playing regular bass lines, they're doing subtle things that, that make them great. And the reason that the subtle things that they do make them great is because they're not doing them for the purpose of showing off or for being fancy or for doing it. They're doing it because they're reacting to the things that are happening around them. And that's why to be a great musician, any type of musician, 
listening to everyone else is the most important thing that you can ever do. And as a bass player, it is just crucial. You know, and, and, and the more that you play, the more that y y these things start to become automatic. You start to internalize them, and you start to react without even consciously thinking about it. Like thinking, oh, the guy just went, whittle whip, so I'm going to go whittle a whip. It's, it's just a matter of, of listening and paying attention, and, and um, after a while, you become one with the music, and the music becomes you, and it becomes like breathing, and that's what it's supposed to be. Um, so, uh, you know, my, my only other advice as a bass player is, is to be yourself, to love what you love. Don't worry about what, what, um, what, what anyone else tells you to like or what's cool to like or anything, but um, to embrace who you are. Every single person and every bass player has their own bass line inside of them. Everyone. Um, and it's a unique bass line. And to play um, and to practice and to play and to study in service of finding the uniqueness that is inside of you so you can express it as a bass player. And that's my advice about the bass guitar.